Hello. Um, hello everyone and welcome to a tutorial on changing colors in Photoshop. I will both be doing it on Kurokuro cars and a scale car. Um, so let's begin with the Kurokuro. Here's the uh, base, obviously. And um, we're gonna start with the magic wand. Um, the settings, you should set the tolerance to zero, because if you set it to um, 32, which, and that's the stock Photoshop, it, um, well, it doesn't do it right now, but it should take uh, colors around it, that uh, it has a bigger tolerance for the colors it's going to be selecting. Um, yeah. And uh, after that, you should take off uh, anti-aliasing um, and uh, continuous. If you put on continuous, it's only gonna select one color that's continuously flowing with, yeah, with the pixels. And um, just start by holding down shift. You can see there's a little plus with the Photoshop. Um, and select all the shades. Yeah. Now take this tool, the rectangular selecting tool, and uh, right click and uh, take layer via copy. It's gonna make a new layer with uh, only the colors you selected. You can go to image and uh, adjustments and select hue, saturation. And press colorize to get a standard color. And um, you can just make anything you like. Um, you can slide this to get more saturation on your color. I'm gonna use about 45. That's not too much. Yeah, and um, if you want the quick uh, um, way to get uh, the saturation, the color saturation tool out, you can just press Control U, and it will get up automatically. Now, for the next tool I'm going to use, I'm going to use um, levels. With still the um, <laughs> now the uh, levels tool um, changes the contrast of the shades. You can do it individually by selecting a shade and using it, or if you have selected one there and you use it, it will work on the whole layer. Like that. Fast and furious. And um, to bring out the level tool fast, you press down control and uh, L to get it up. Um, and uh, that's about it for scared cars, you know, for core core cars. Um. Now some scale cars might have ghost shades. And again, magic wand tool holding down shift. Select selecting shades.
And I think that that's about all the shades I can find. Again, right click and uh, you make a new copy. I have selected both both bases. Oh, there's a shade bar down here I could have used. No. Fuck it. Doing it the hard way. Now, um, for scale cars I like to desaturate the, uh, the car before I paint it. And uh, you do that by either going to image adjustments and where's the bugger desaturate and you can shift control u to do it quick like that now now you have gray scales and uh, they can be good for a lot of things with the level tools, um, you can use th this to make uh, make a black, or do this to make a white. Like that. Might have ruined some of the shading by doing this, but um, I'm not gonna tune anything so it doesn't matter. Gonna bring back the history to go back to the desaturated car. Now you can colorize Now if you want to do the kind of a chameleon kind of paint, you can use the color balance tool. Um, down here you have highlights, midtones and shadows. The highlight affect the bright shades or the bright colors. You can manipulate them well sort of any any kind of way you want midtones is the middle shade and shadow is the blacks um, you can mess around with it um, I'm not gonna spend more time using it uh, um, I think that's about it and uh, this has been a video tutorial by uh, Thor from uh, Pixel Car Art and um, have fun.